Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. I'm Sir Cooper, and in the last episode we were in Delgaro exploring that area. In this episode we have headed over to Treno, I skipped all that travelling out, and I've grinded a lot. Like, pretty much all of my characters are now, well, at least in the 40s. The lowest character is probably Freya, but even she, I mean, I've mastered lots of those. It's really progressing along. I've grinded 97k, which is probably a bit too much for this point in the game, but it doesn't hurt to have extra money. So we're just going to go and see Lady Quack Quack Face and give her the Capricorn. Oh, the Capricorn, you're most kind. Quack Quackity Quack. Really getting quite far these Stellazios now. What reward? A nice 20k, an extra 20k. Sagittarius. How many have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We've got 9. Given a 9. Or oh, a Rosetta Ring. Oh, nothing else. I don't think we've got a Rosetta Ring before, actually, so let's just have a look what this does. Concentrate and reflect times 2. Can the lane get anything from that? No. Okay. Oh, it probably does something actually cool, statistically wise. Absorbs fire elemental attack. Oh, that's pretty nice. Right, now, there are a couple more things we've got to do in Treno. There's actually, like, like an auction housing mainly is what I've got to do. I've got so much stuff I need to buy off there. I've been putting it off for a long time, because generally it's not a lot of useful stuff. I mean, I've got all the good stuff from it, but now I've really just got to pick up pace and get all of the other great stuff. Now, I don't know when I'm going to get around to finish this craft quest. I think I might wait until the very end of before this 3 is about to end and do it all then. So I feel like I've been doing too many side quests. I can't remember the last time I actually did some props. Well, I guess it wasn't that long ago, actually. But I just feel like I haven't recorded in ages. And whenever I am, I'm recording side quests. It's kind of annoying. But yeah, alright. There's a new monster in here. Now, this is important. All you need to do is just make sure... Well, it helps to damage the heal. But make sure you've got this uh, Sargon... Sargatanus, which is additional stats petrifier. Make sure you've learnt Soul Blade. And let's just quickly heal them up. That's all you need to be able to win this fight very easily. Actually, do you sell any new weapons? We haven't been here in a long time. Just have a look if there's anything new. Nope, okay. Didn't think there would be. Yeah, I want to fight the monster. Are you sure I can't guarantee your safety today? Probably only do it with him at this point, unless you've got like, well, actually, to be honest, I've got some HP you now. My character's are quite high level. You should be able to do it with anyone, but honestly, this is the easiest. I can't remember why, I think this guy just sucks. He kind of hurts. He's not as bad as one that stones you, but even that is prep board devil killer. I don't know. But this is a very easy strategy, and it's brilliant. <laughs> I won't do a buy of this uh, monster yet because of. I think we encounter it in the wild later, but yeah, just go Soul Blade and add Moodidus. I think it's add Moodidus, but anyway, Soul Blade with this weapon, which is really weird. It's like two of them buffalo things. Instant Petrify, instant win. No problem. Which is just great. I think we get a pair of running shoes for this, which is our third pair, I believe. I think there's only one more pair left to get. We might have got all of them by now, actually. Yep, there's the last pair of running Well, the third pair of running shoes. Maybe the fourth. I can't remember. <laughs> it's been so long. Now all we've got to do in Toronto really is go auctioning. So let's just head over there. And I've got 110k to spend at this auction house. Hopefully I'll be able to not waste it all on pointless crap. There's a couple things I definitely want to buy. I think the thief gloves definitely. Magician Merb, don't want. Dogger's Artifact. I oh, may as well get both of them and thief gloves. Yep, I'll get all three of these things. So I'll cut until we get to the dogger's artifact. Okay, dogger's artifact. Now we need to get both of these. Then we can do something cool later on in the game with them in the Black Mage Village. You can do it now if you really want to, but I'm not going to show it off till later on because it's just an unwanted detour. But yeah, I'm going to buy them now just because I can. <laughs> You can sell them actually to people in. You can make money just by buying them here, and there are people around Trenner who you can sell these items to for a pretty good price. Okay. I'm just going to hold on to them, and then I'll do an episode about who you're supposed to sell them to, how much for. Because there is a couple of items you actually have to sell them, um, sell them for. I think one of them is the rat tail you have to sell it to to unlock a very good item, one of Steinman's best weapons. But I'm not entirely sure on that, so. 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna need to look that up again in my notes. Should you attack with me in a moment? Okay, any more? We'll have that, thank you very much. What? What? That, that, you, that, you cheated, you're not supposed to do that. Stupid auction man, you stupid thingy majiggies. Okay, who needs Mira? 2200. I'm getting this one too, and you're not gonna screw me over. I still can't believe we're funding Kuja by buying stuff in here. I mean, seriously. We're such bad people. We're, we're funding the war on terrorism. Isn't that they say about like pirate DVDs that if you buy pirate DVDs, you're somehow funding terrorism? Which is just a load of rubbish. <laughs> it's just playing on emotions of people, really. I mean, sure, maybe some pirate DVDs do, but I mean, as if, it, like, not every pirate DVD person or whatever happens to be related to. What? You've done it again? Related to Al Qaeda or whatever. Stop screwing me over. Thank you. Okay. Unes Mira, let's just shut off these quickly. There's two items we got here. Right. We seek magic as a way of life. We create dreams after life. Words of the artifact. The body may perish, but the spirit lives on. Alright, these two items, Dogger and Une from Final Fantasy III, one of my probably favourite characters in the game. They've got an awesome music theme. So, yeah. Thief Gloves. Now, make sure whatever you do, you do not buy, spend more than 50,000 on these, because you can just simp these in Dalgara for 50k. So, just, yeah, don't spend more than 50k on these. The Thief Gloves are an extremely good item. Make sure you get them before you go to the next story area. You may as well. You've got nothing better to do with your cash. Honestly, these are amazing what they give for Zidane. I don't really want to have to pay more than 40k for these, but I have a funny feeling I'm going to have to. Because these people are not backing down. Stop spending money! Think of the children in the streets that are poor! Stop it. Oh god, come on. Stop spending money! Fuck's sake! So yeah, I've been looking for another hobby recently, and I've I was I was just gonna I've, I decided I was gonna start collecting like cards. I wasn't sure if it's gonna be Yu-Gi-Oh cards or Pokemon cards, and in the end, I've settled on Pokemon cards because I just kind of prefer them. Woohoo! Thief gloves. Okay. Now the thief gloves are absolutely amazing because they give today the master thief ability. Which, you may be wondering, we've already got Bandit and what's the other one? I think it's still Gil, but yeah. Bandit, and then where's Master Thief? I can't even see it. There it is. Master Thief. Steal better items. It makes you steal the better items. just increases your steal success chance. Very good. Awesome. Now, about that, yeah. They've got, like, a thing called TCG Online for Pokemon cards. And you can... And in booster packs you buy in stores now, they have these codes and you can input them online and you get cards. And you can like battle on people online and like sort of like a Wi-Fi type thing, which I think is really good. Okay, that's all junk, we don't want any of that. I, I'm just really impressed with it, honestly. It's really quite good and the Pokemon card is just really cool. I'm so nerdy, it's, it's sad, really. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I'm, I'm a nerd, get over it. Okay, I don't think he's going to sell anything else to we buy anything, and obviously I have no intention on buying any of that crap. Maybe I already have all the other stuff, because it's just like a griffin's heart and a rat's tail. Have I got that? Yeah. Okay, I think I've got all the items we can possibly buy here. Jeez. Okie dokie. Okay, so, Master V, get it for the name. Most important thing. I haven't uploaded anything recently for a few reasons, and the main reason, honestly, is my earphones are broken, and I can't play this game without music. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just weird. And I've kind of just been busy editing a collaboration LP with a few friends, and it's going to be great. It's going to be going up fairly soon. I know I say that, but it's probably going to be quite a while, because I want to get it all done in advance, then I'm going to upload it just on the weekends, like, I don't know, like once a week or something. They're very long episodes, like 20, 30, 40 minutes of varying lengths. Airplane pass and over, good. But yeah, they're varying lengths mainly because I can, if I'm perfectly honest. It's 
it's hard for us to get together because I mean at the moment like two of us are just we're going to university next year so it's just sort of like a little gap year type thing we're not really doing much but no, one of our friends is um, he works so we don't get to see each other that often we do we, like we can see each other at night in the evenings and things but that's not really long enough to record get together and shit I mean he's traveling to London every day so it's like oh look I'll get her. Uh, right, now actually I am going to go chocobo digging, questing, whatever it's called, but I'll be doing all that off screen. I'm just going to show the thing that there's a cutscene we can get because it's the first time we've been back from ocean chocobo. I do want to finish all these choco digging off. I'm probably not going to dig them all up yet, but I'm probably going to get all the choco graphs. So yeah, let's just grab a chocobo. So green. And actually there is something I just want to quickly do. I want to fix my party order. Because when I was grinding the Grand Dragons, I had everyone in the wrong rows. So they take less damage. Right, Ocean Chocolate, let's go. Right, so we've got every I think we've got absolutely everything in the Chocobo's Forest now. There's nothing left there, so we've just got to come back to the Chocobo's Lagoon. Now we've got the Ocean Chocobo, we're going to be able to dig on the west side of this lagoon. Really awesome. You look kind of dirty, Koopo. Quay. Didn't hurt your feelings. I'm sorry, Koopo. Well, it doesn't matter what colour you are, Koopo. You're still my Choco. Okay, so now we actually have the ability to go all the way to the deep end. And yes, still digging here. You get 60 seconds now. You've got to pay the full price. But, of course, digging here is a big problem. Because... It just takes so long, like even digging a potion like takes like forever, as we saw last time, and it really hasn't got any better. I mean sure we're a lot faster now, sure like an ocean chocolate, but um, of course, I bet it's back here. Yeah. I really should just dig right back here. <laughs> and start, it would save so much time. Come on, I want these chocolates. I'll just do one map. Oh! Chock off right away, that's pretty good. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> nice. There's actually not that many chocrafts to find. I've got to find too much chocraft pieces, which is a big problem, but after that we'll be able to actually get our final chocograph. Chocobo upgrade. Not sure if I'll do that until like I said to a little bit later, but I want to get it all out of the way before then. That's amazing, Koopo. I'll give you a bonus after discovering four items, double your time, blah 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 blah. I feel you guys have seen more Chocobo digging than you're ever going to ever want to see. Even though I cut most of it out, it's just painful for me. It's probably another reason why I've been putting off recording as well. It's just I have to do Chocobo digging. Which I don't like. Well, I like it, but it's extremely tedious when you just get nothing. And I have the worst luck with Chocobo digging. Like, when I'm playing through this game, sometimes I'll have, like, amazing luck. And I'll get all the Chocobo really quickly. But this LP is dreadful. I mean, I've been digging for hours. I'm like, no! That was Chocobo, I know it was. Yeah. I've been digging for hours sometimes, and I just get fuck all, and that just really pisses me off. Especially since I still have a recording at the time, which I'm not actually going to do now. I'll be editing the episode off pretty soon, and just getting all the chalk graphs off screen. Uh, I have to worry about the file size and crap. Yeah, what did we dig up there? Um, see it dusk? I think that might be the one we just dug up. I swear we got that one before, anyway, so see it dusk. Yep, see it does, because we got the rest, that one's easier, yeah. How many chocolates have we got left? Um, it's 26, I believe, so we've actually still got 9 to find. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're going to end things off here, and in the next episode I will have all of the chocolates. Well, except for three, which we can't get yet, but I'll have all of the other chocolates that we can get in the lagoon. So I'll see you guys then on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Thanks for watching.